Hello friends, welcome back to Technique and in this video, we'll do the performance testing for the newly launched OnePlus 12R. Now the OnePlus 12R and OnePlus 12 was announced uh, uh, together and the OnePlus 12R is more affordable priced uh, device with the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2. It's a really powerful device and uh, this has uh, LPDDR5X RAM UFS 4.0 for the uh, top end variant. So uh, it has uh, really great hardware along with that you get Android 14 out of the box, Oxygen OS 14. So let's see how good the performance of this device is under stress uh, and uh, throttling how good uh, or bad it is and uh, let's see the anti-two benchmark uh, test uh, the Geekbench 6. So let's Let's see all of these uh, tests uh, uh, in this video and uh, we'll be first starting with the CPU throttling test of this device. Uh, we'll see how, how much of a throttling happens with the CPU. Then we'll go to the wildlife extreme stress test and then we'll come back to the other test. So let's begin. So before that, if this is your first time on this channel, do hit that red subscribe button and also hit the bell icon to get notified of all the videos we publish. So let's begin uh, the performance testing for the OnePlus 12R. So let's get started with uh, the performance testing of the OnePlus uh, 12R. So let's first uh, take uh, the about phone. So you can see here OnePlus uh, 12R and this comes with uh, Android 14 out of the box and the official Oxygen OS 14 version. Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 platform and 5500 mAh battery. It also has a really good uh, vapor chamber cooling. So let's uh, start with CPU throttling test. So let's start uh, the test. So there you go. Now we have set the performance mode uh, turned on. So let's uh, start the test. So now we completed uh, the CPU throttling test. You can see here 68 percentage uh, throttle CPU and you can see here after probably around 10 minutes it started throttling and then again it climbed up again you can see the throttling. So you can see the temperature around 38 degrees. So that was the temperature and a peak temperature it went up to 50 degrees internal temperature. So outside uh, you can see here it's around uh, 38 degrees. So that's the temperature and uh, you could see that uh, around 7% drop in temp battery from 87 to 88 when. So that was the throttling test. You can see a 68% of its max performance and the highest and the average value is here. Now next let's uh, go to the stress test. So the next test uh, we are going to do is 3D Mark Wildlife Extreme uh, Stress Test. So you can see here wildlife extreme uh, stress test is a demanding 20 minute test that shows how a device performs under longer periods of heavy load. So that's what we're going to do now right now. So let's start uh, the 3D Mark wildlife extreme stress test. So now we have completed uh, the stress test and let's see the temperature right now 40 degrees 40.8 40.9 almost close to 41 degrees that's the temperature and here also you can see the temperature actually it went up to 41 degrees uh, 24 degrees to 41 degrees it went the frame rate is 11 to 27 fps and battery went from 79 to 67 percentage that's 12 percentage drop uh, during this test and you can see here the lowest uh, loop score is 2449 and the best loop score is 3696 and stability is around 66.3 so you can see here the different loop test and uh, the values we have got so stability is 66.3 for the oneplus 12r so that's the wildlife extreme stress test on this device now next let's go to the antitude benchmark test so we have already completed the benchmark test and this is using the performance mode actually and uh, here we have uh, the results so 362671 uh, is the cpu score gpu score is 5 lakh 86000 
and the memory score and ux score here now the memory uh, there is one thing here actually while this is ufs 4.0 on the 256 gigabyte variant this app uh, the uh, anti to benchmark score is not showing that i'm not sure why it is happening uh, so it might change uh, because it is not actually detecting this is uh, 14 lakh 79 thousand on uh, the one plus 12 hour with uh, the uh, the performance mode enabled now here we can see that uh, let's see the storage test and test uh, once again so sequence uh, read and write and random access so here you can see here this is showing only ufs 3x we are not really sure why it is showing that because our variant is ufs 4.0 and this is probably some error with the anti2 benchmarking app so that was uh, the anti2 benchmark test and let's finally go to the uh, Geekbench test. So here we have the Geekbench result. Uh, 1911 is a single core score and 5177 is the multi core score. And uh, here also you can see all the details here. Uh, the model number, the Android version. So this is uh, quite good again. So that was the performance test of uh, this device. Um, and uh, here you can see that uh, the benchmark result uh, of uh, the OnePlus 12 are with the anti and the Geekbench 6. So that is the performance test of the OnePlus 12 Watt. So what do you guys think about this device? Do let us know your thoughts in the comment section. This is Normal signing off with the performance testing of the OnePlus uh, uh, 12 Watt. Hope you enjoyed watching this video. Do hit that like button and also hit the subscribe button for more videos. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you in our next video. Have a great day.